Hey everybody, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Those of you who have been with my channel for the past couple months may recall this video I published back on December 13th, 2016, Prophecy Fulfillment Revelation 18 is happening. In this video, I show the prophetic nature of how the world's top businessmen and CEOs came to the Vatican to submit to the various agendas of Pope Francis. One of those agendas was for all these companies to support initiatives to produce digital identities for one-fifth of global citizens, keyword there, who lack one. So I talked about how this is incredibly creepy for one, that four-fifths of the world's population already has a digital identity, and that these companies will fill in the last fifth for Pope Francis and his agenda. So I did a little searching in terms of what's coming up for 2018, and I will be publishing a video on how I am strongly encouraging all of you to be preparing in spirit, in emotion, and physical preparedness for 2018. This is going to be a big year. So basically, Pope Francis's vision of having digital identities for the world seems as though it's coming to fruition in 2018. There is this company called Threat Metrics. They are one of the biggest players in the digital identity business. You can see here they support lots and lots of customers, all the big players. The big banks like Capital One, Charles Schwab, Citi, Visa. You've got Google in there and Microsoft, Apple, even some entertainment industries like Netflix. These people monitor over 30% of all internet transactions across the world. So they are huge. And I want to show you some clips of their last summit, which happened in 2017. I believe it was in August. And it will just absolutely put you in awe in terms of what information they're recording about you. And the more transactions we see, the more individual identities we can recognize, and the stronger our network becomes. The largest, most powerful digital identity network on the planet. Which means that with threat metrics driving your decisions, your business will be more secure and profitable now than it was even just a minute ago. Threat Metrics, the digital identity company. To threat metrics, uh, digital IDs are a collection of the personas that you create as you uh, use the internet. So, you know, everybody in this room has probably from threat metrics a digital ID. There's three and a half billion people that use the internet every day. We know something about 1.4 billion of them. In the United States alone, we, we are tracking right now 175 million uh, people. Of course. Threat Metrics updates its database 80 million times a day. Every time a customer uses, a, a consumer goes to one of our customers and executes a transaction, that adds to the database. So it's highly dynamic, and it's extremely uh, operative in, in real time. It's, it's really very nice. I want to talk a little bit, though, if I might, just for another couple of minutes, on digital IDs and how they're constructed, and w because they're really a new, new thing. You know, when, when I sit down with customers and, and I say, I don't need to know your name to know you, who you are, it opens up a whole bunch of possibilities. So for example, only 20% of the Chinese population has a known address, but I have a 75% customer recognition rate in China. I have a 95% customer recognition rate in Russia. But here in the United States, we don't really know a lot about those people, but I do because of the digital identities that we have. Equally as exciting, by the way, Threat Networks is working with a number of companies uh, around the world to combine our digital identity with extended physical identities. FIS Equifax uh, came out in a partnership uh, a couple of weeks ago and, and announced a product called Only ID, uh, which is a digital identity product that extends credentials out that FIS and Equifax know about. We're going to merge that with our digital identity. And, and I really am looking forward to this, is that I think one plus one is going to end up equaling three. If you can now provide attribution, uh, you know, in other words, I actually know that this person lives at this particular address to our digital identities, I think it just makes them that much more powerful. So a lot of this should not be new information. We understand, at least anecdotally, that we live in an Orwellian state. We're being tracked, and that profiles are being composited against us. But what this serves for is proof. 
straight from the horse's mouth. Threat Metrics being one of the biggest companies in digital identities at the Digital Identity Summit, explicitly stating that they are tracking people worldwide on a purchase by purchase basis and don't even need to know their name in terms of knowing who they are. Absolutely incredible that they are literally looking at 80 million transactions a day and that this system, minute by minute, even second by second, is growing and growing. And the other scary thing about this is that this company still only represents digital identities. But come 2018, they are seeking to merge with other companies and their endeavors into the biometric signature arena. So they mentioned one company called Digital One or One ID, I believe it was called. And you can see their slide here on their webpage where they are engaged with biometric signatures, whether it's retinal scans, fingerprints, and a lot of people are talking about the chip. But you combine these physical or biological biometric type identifiers, you combine that with the digital presence, you combine that with the fact that currency is probably going to be wiped out in terms of cash, and we're going to have a digital currency. Um, this is truly all centered around the mark of the beast. It's tied to worship and how if you don't take that mark, you basically can't participate in society. So Pope Francis is getting exactly what he asked for, and it's happening incredibly quickly. I said at the beginning of this video, 2018 is a pivotal year. In the next video, I'll show you why that is. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. See you guys later.